Hello children, welcome to EVS class. I believe everyone is ready for your EVS class, right? In today's EVS class, we will continue with the chapter Plants Around Us. Children, the topic that we are going to learn today is Parts of Plant We Eat. Before we start our topic, let's revise the different parts of a plant that we have learned in the previous class, alright? As we know, plants have different parts. Children, can you tell me which part is this? That's right, it's a root. Roots grow below the soil and it helps to absorb water and other nutrients from the soil to the plant. Now, can you recognize which part is this? Very good. It's a leaf. Leaves help to prepare food for the plants by using sunlight, air and water, right? Next, tell me which part is this? That's right. It's a fruit. We get seeds inside fruit and different fruits have different number of seeds. Now tell me which part is this? Yes, that's right. It's a stem. Stems help to hold the plant to stand upright and it also helps to transfer water and nutrients to different parts of a plant. Lastly, tell me which part is this? Very good. It's a flower. Flowers are the most beautiful part of a plant, right? Some flowers produce seeds such as sunflower, mustard plant, etc. And some flowers turn into sweet and tasty fruits such as pomegranate, strawberry, etc. You know children, plants are very important part of our life. Why? Because they give us oxygen and they are the main source of food as we get fruits and vegetables from them. Children, where do we store our extra food? Yes, we store it in refrigerator, right? Children, like we store our extra food in refrigerator, plants also store their extra food in different parts. Some plants store their food in roots, some in stem or leaf, some plants store in flower, fruit or seeds. And these extra foods stored by the plants are eaten by us. Now, let's learn the parts of plant that we eat. Let's start with roots. You know children, unlike roots of other plants, carrot, radish, beetroot and turnip are swollen. Why? Because these plants store their extra food in roots and we eat them as food. Stem Some plants store their extra food in stem. So the stems that we eat are sugar cane, asparagus, potato, ginger. Children, stems usually grow above the soil, right? But some stems such as potato and ginger grows under the soil. Leaves. Some plants store their extra food in leaves. So the leaves that we eat are spinach, cabbage, lettuce, coriander, mint. Flowers. The flowers that we eat are cauliflower and broccoli. Fruits The parts of plant that we mainly eat are fruits. We eat them as vegetables and fruits. Fruits such as bananas, apples, mangoes and some vegetables such as brinjal, tomato, pumpkin, etc. are eaten as fruits. Now here comes the last part of plant we eat and that is seeds. Seeds grow inside fruits. You know children, seeds store food for baby plant. The seeds that we eat are mustard seeds, sunflower seeds, 
sesame seeds pulses and cereals such as kidney beans lentils chickpeas rice wheat etc spices such as cumin cardamom pepper and nuts such as almonds cashew nuts walnuts pistachios etc all these comes under edible seeds now children please turn to page number 88 and 89 let's do some exercise questions a tick the correct options number 1 potato is a dish where food is stored option a fruit option b stem option c root children which is the correct option yes option b stem potato is a stem where food is stored number 2 banana is a dash option a fruit option b stem option c branch children which is the correct option that's right option a fruit banana is a fruit number 3 cauliflower is a dash where food is stored option a fruit option b flower option c seed children which is the correct option yes option b flower the name itself indicates that it's a flower cauliflower is a flower where food is stored number 4 carrot is a dish which we eat option a root option b stem option c fruit now which is the correct option yes option a root carrot is a root which we eat next let's proceed to question b match the following children here they have given us five different pictures right so we have to match them whether these are spices nuts cotton pulses or cereals all right now in the first picture what do you see these are rice so rice comes under which category yes it comes under cereals right so we have to match the first picture with cereals now in the second picture what do you see these are peas so peas comes under which category it comes under pulses so let's match picture 2 with pulses now what do you see in the third picture these are cumins children whenever your mother makes fries and all she adds spices such as cumin turmeric pepper etc right this all comes under the category of spices so let's match picture 3 with spices now what do you see in picture 4 these are cashew nuts so cashew nut comes under the category of nuts so let's match picture 4 with nuts now the last picture what do you see we see a piece of cloth right so clothes are made of cotton or silk so let's match the picture 5 with cotton yes next let's do question c answer the following children question 1 has already been done in the last class so let's do question 2 Name the food groups we get from plants. We get fruits, vegetables, nuts, pulses, etc. Right? 